Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and today I'm gonna take you around my top two favorite garden center, Intratuin in Amsterdam and Global Garden, my number one. So you're getting two in this video. Ah! I hope they have some cool plants. I haven't been here in months, so let's have a look. The first plant you see when you get to the houseplant section is this insanely big uh, thematophyllum. Oh, it says philodendron xanthal. It looks like a philodendron celluum. Look at those stems. That is crazy. A little intermission request. It's really helpful for me if you are able to watch this video all the way through to the end and engage with it. So if you're willing to do that, thank you super much. Some really nice succulents with sunstress, or maybe they just are red. I don't know. Ripsalis pachy. Beptera robusta. You know I don't really do succulents, but I wanted to show you some anyway because they always have some cool plants here. Lots of tiny babies. Here are different sizes of orbifolias. These little small ones. Let's see. They are six euros. Really cute. And then the, here are huge ones. Look at that, beautiful. Maybe I can find the price for you. These are 16. And some peace lilies. On the side here, some really nice Calathea or whatever they are reclassified as. Calathea White Star, it says, 16 euros. And then the Zebrinas, they're to, let me see also 16 i love the shimmer can you see on that leaf so nice oh and they actually have variegated peace lilies that's pretty cool these are 10 euros i saw these are called silver cupido spatophyllum silver cupido that's really nice i've never seen them irl before it's always good to come here <laughs> it's always surprise plants beautiful And then some ones with bigger leaves, but not variegated. And some of those, I don't, forgot the name. Some Rufa Barba. Really big ones, actually. 45. And Calathea Medallion, 33. Look how beautiful. And I love this one as well. What is this called? Calathea Sylvia 16. Some damaged leaves, but I'm sure they will grow out to be perfect again. They also have a little house for a special collection. And they have some cool, cool plants in here. Look at the beautiful varicosums. This looks like the same type that I have with very dark red backs. And they are, let's see, 50 euros. They also have little plug plants, Alocasia Black Velvet. These are four euros. And some small Alocasia Cuprias, which are 10. That's really nice. Lots of dragon scale Alocasias. You know I love Alocasias. These are 20. Very, very pretty. Look at that beautiful leaf. I love these and the back with the very sharp lines. Awesome. And then some philodendron <laughs> prints of oranges that I haven't seen much of before. These are 50 and thirsty. And I think, yeah, they must be the same price. I really, really love the colors and I really used to want one, but now I think they are too big for my house. I cannot fit them. So I'm gonna skip on them. Some beautiful um, caladiums and actually a Thai constellation which I haven't seen sold in the Netherlands in ages so that's pretty cool these are a hundred euros they are really expensive and there's some with a lot of white actually that's quite nice there's some beautiful specimens here I also really like the look of these caladium reds I don't know what the actual name is, but they're labeled Caladium Red. They are 20 euros. Look at that. 
Isn't that pretty? Such a cool leaf. Definitely awesome. More little plug plants. Yep, same price, four euros. And then over here, the I think it's the Macaulay's Finale or whatever it's named. It looks like a Prince of Orange, just less big and less long leaves and, and less orange. <laughs> and then here is a huge Monstera Variegata on a pole. Oh my God, look at this one. So many little holes in the center. Secondary fenestrations galore. Here is a cool variegated Anthurium, what do they call it? Doesn't have a name, 45 euros. And an, ooh, Anthurium clarinervium with, look at this, lots of berries, lots of seeds. They must have pollinated this and they're gonna get lots of babies. Check that out. That's awesome. Some of the fern cactus or whatever they're called, Epiphyllum. Chrysogardium, 21 euros. And on the back here, a big dragon, what is it? Something dragon, I always forget the name of this one. Or philodendron camouflage, maybe? Uh, what does it say? Let's see. Oh, that's not the label. Cannot tell you. Oh, cool, some variegated um, raindrop peperomias. Very pretty. These usually come from the grower that I was at ages ago. So if you want to see that tour, check it out. More babies, more Monstera variegata. I like this one. Don't know what this is, but it looks quite funky. With flowers. The Holy Sombra Pendula, 50 euros. Excuse the Dutch pronunciation. I heard that pronouncing Latin as my own language Dutch, that's very correct. <laughs> so I'll just go for it. Look at that. These are really, really cool. I wonder how much a big bucket like that would cost. Let's go around here. So cute. So yeah, that's, oh, we have one more thing in the special, special, Thingy. There's some, oh, you can more see me than the plants. There is some variegated um, monstera in there, but then here, I don't know what that is, but it looks pretty cool. Let's see if we can find the label. Philodendron of orange, it says. So might be princes of orange, but I don't know. Oh, and look, a whole hidden compartment of dragons. So cute. And then over here, lots of micans. Quite cool pots. These are eight euros. Beautiful. My first ever velvet leaf that I owned, so they have a special place in my heart. Uh, Calathea Makoyana, I think. Lots of different kinds. I can't tell you them all because I don't know. And big thanks to Intratime for switching off the radio because now I can talk to you guys right away, which I prefer much over doing the voiceover. Here is some philodendron scandens neon, it's eight euros, very pretty. And some Monstera Peru, or labeled as a Peppernum Marble Planet. Oh, interesting. For seven Euro or eight euros. Let's see, some Adansoniae, but I don't bother with the, them anymore because mine had um, mosaic virus, so I'm always scared of them. Some more Calathea and the like on this side. Uh, here's the Apeperinum pinatum blue form, which is not really the Cebu blue, but it's a little bit more blue than regular, apparently. And some um, Monstera acuminata. There are three euros. Oh, this one's also pretty. I think I saw this recently on a post on Instagram from one of the garden centers. I think this is new. Can it be new? It doesn't say here, but I think it's like green star or something. Oh, this might actually be the Makoyana, not the other one I showed you, but 
You know, I don't know Calithia very well. Here's a hidden little banana plant. Just lots of adorable plants. Back there is the cactus section. And then over here, more Calathea. They have an incredible amount of Calathea, if you think about it. Huge alocasia, beautiful. Look at those leaves, that is insane. And some parlor palms. Something is uh, flowering back there. We'll have a look in a moment. And then if you look this way, it's quite quiet now, so I can show you an overview. Here is their living wall, which is beautiful. I always film that. And then back there is more the anthurium places. Whoops. And then if you look over here to the right, you'll see the little uh, Mikan's place. With here is the hanging wall section with some... Uh, why can I not come find the word? Skindapsis. There we go. And some weird... Oh, that's kind of succulenty. What is that? doesn't say, but it's 25 euros. Oh, and these ferns are quite cute. Labeled as Neprolepis de Fee. 13. Here's more Apepronum pinnatum and Hoya compacta. These are 15 euros. Bye, Nicola. And here is that flowering, I think it's an agave maybe? Look at that, that is so tall. I wonder what comes out of the top there. It's a little bit lit the wrong way, but... Um, trio stars. And more Rufa Barba. And these. They always have so many Calathea types, it's awesome. Here's the living wall, looking really good. These crocodile ferns are growing a lot. Beautiful. Some gonias hidden in there. Over here, some more maranta and begonia. Philodendron something, I don't know. Some smaller silver swords, they're actually adorable. I like them smaller. And huge... This philodendron is labeled Weeks Red. It's 109 euros. Some homolomina. They're unpacking a lot of stuff right now, so trying to not be in the way. Some Birkins that they are famous for. And some Royal Queens. I don't know what that one is, but it's kind of nice with the narrow leaves. And then some Squanoferum in the back. Okay, let's go. I don't want to be in the way. <laughs> this looks like Hoya Crinkle 8, 5 euros. And some Crassula, oh, what are they? Hot and salt? Oh, yeah! 4 euros. I'm getting better at those. Some beautiful thick will fins for 7. And some flowering succulents. Here's a really nice um, Hoya Publicalix with the nice dark leaves. These are 18. They are a little bit bigger, so that makes sense. And then a Hoya Australis Lisa with the nice leaves. And this part seems to have reverted, so it's not variegated as much. But I love normal Australis as well. Oh, price. Um, doesn't say. No price. Some Hoya Carii. I actually found a really nice Lisa that's even more pretty. But let me show you the Carii first. Price on these, maybe. These are 17. And here are some even bigger ones. That's awesome. Nice. By the way, I'm wearing jeans. I feel like a normal person for once, which is kind of weird. <laughs> Here's the Lisa I was talking about. It has amazing pink in the new leaves. Look at that. That's almost red. And the stem is red as well. This is an awesome bucket. This might be interesting to buy. Hmm. How much is it? Okay, let's check. Let's just check. 11 euros. I've been tempted into this Lisa when I saw it in someone else's videos. I think it was Sharina. But I'm not quite sure, I forgot which video it was, but this is beautiful. Wow. It's 
some very funky looking um, Sansevieria, variegated kind. <laughs> it has a label in there saying Hoya Linears, but I know that's not right. Someone must have planted that. Here are the Linears. They are how much? 15 euros and they're super full. So that's really awesome. Oh, sorry, person in the shot. Some really big um, Dishidia ovata. These are 13. Look at the, how big these leaves are. Mine are still tiny compared to this. Very pretty. And a huge <laughs> ant plant, it looks like. Hydnopterum papuanum, 160. That's awesome. That looks so funky. Some more Hoya carii. Some smaller Australis crinkulate. And on this side, more of the Peperomia. This is Peperomia angulata, and I love it. One day I will buy it. Maybe today. I don't know yet. Some watermelon, Peperomia. I'm really, really forgetting all these names right now. Some Caparata in different colors. And some regular raindrops, Peperomias, and Pelea, Peperomioides. This also looks really pretty. I don't know what this is. Peperomia smaragd, 12 euros. That is beautiful. And some string of that are actually flowering. Look at that. Cute. Yeah, Numularia variegata, I think. They call it white diamond. Not quite sure if it is a Numularia, but the shape is similar. This is a whole white bit. I wonder how well that plant grows, but it's very cute. And I heard these are also quite new on the market. Let's see what they're labeled as. Peperomia. Hmm. Five euros, but they have like only slight bits of green, dark green, and then the rest is light green. And the little taco peperomia. Ah, and I love this guy. Paleia peperomia. Um, Paleia glauca. I found another. I really want to buy this. Um, neon. Philodendron. They are only eight euros, so that's not a lot. I've been wanting one for a long time, so I'm just gonna temporarily put it in here. <laughs> Some bananas with, I love this. When the new leaf comes out, it's a little bit lighter green and it just gives that nice bright neon look. It's very, very pretty. If you wanna know the price, in case you do, 17. For the Musa, bigger ones, the smaller ones are cheaper. Some strange, it looks like a spider plant, but it's kind of different, a little bit more succulenty. It doesn't have a label, so I can't tell you what it is. Some bigger Monstera over here with all the little fenestrations. Very beautiful. Some big, yes, as I love here. Big alocasia over here with some, I don't know, stuff, and some pink alocasia, pink dragons, some small polys, six euros, sandarin. It's labeled as. Hmm. This looks like wentii, quite big. Some apeprinums. For those of you that love those. Alocasia Lauterbachiana again. Really big. Ooh. Let's check this side. Some Aglionema. Somehow, I'm not a big fan of them. I don't know why. I think they're also poisonous for my pets. So maybe that's why I never looked into them. Ooh, I like these with the dark stems. That's beautiful. Yucatan Princess. Some Diefenbachia. And some little Brazils over here. A lot of them. Wow, look at this big Cupria. Look at that with my hand, it's huge. What is this? How does this cost? 45 euros for this big pot. That's really cool. It's very mature compared to 
some of my plants at home. Hello. Hello. Found some more Aglionema and Alocasia zebrina. These are actually really nice size, I think. Um, six, seven euros. Because sometimes you see them sold as the huge size and that doesn't necessarily fit into our houses anymore. So this is not a baby, but it's not huge yet. So that's awesome. I approve. <laughs> Oh, here are the bigger ones that I was talking about. These are 18 euros. Some papyrus, really nice. Ooh, and that's huge. Look at that. That's maybe the biggest Sabrina I've ever seen. Some more Aglionema over here. And a really roughly alocasia, very pretty. Some more Dievenbachia. Bigger papyrus. These actually grow like in um, ponds as well, so they need a lot of water. Yeah, just tons and tons of Alocasia and Dievenbachia and Aglionema. This is 40 only for this huge Sabrina. That's pretty good. That's nice. Here's another one of the huge philodendrons labeled weeks red then my friends Micha and Maika also joined and they switched the radio back on so I'm gonna do voiceover for the rest of this it's raining a lot right now so you may hear the rain on my windows I'm sorry about that this is the cacti section and I found this super chunky tree I have no idea what it is but it looks super cool and then lots of epiphyllum chrysocardiums over here some cute little cacti that front one is an Apuntia, but the rest I have no idea. There's so many of them. This is an Agave. That looks adorable. It's very sharp though. And some adorable little Lithops. Oh my God, I want this one. I really, really want this one. They are red and tiny. I'm showing them to my friend Micah, who joined us. She is a room filled with plants on Instagram, right? Check her out. These are adorable. Yes, so many. Ugh. And such different looking ones. They're so pretty. Yeah, little stars. Ooh, and this one is really cute. I wonder how they, will they grow and, and like go like this, come out or well, no? At some point the leaves will split open and new leaves will come out and then the old leaves die off. Yeah, I saw that they can only have two yeah. two leaves at the time. These ones are also, they're like little artworks. I hope we can use this audio because the radio is on, but we will see. Ah, this is It's Luckily, you didn't hear the radio in that part, but then in this part you did again. So look at that huge ponytail palm though. And Maike in the back and Aidana and Micha. Here's a huge Norfolk pine, beautiful, very thick stem, look at that. And of course, more weird looking cacti. I actually really like these agaves with three different colors. Agave quadricolor, oh, excuse me, four different colors. <laughs> and then this euphorbia, this is one of those that is mounted on top of another one. Micah actually explained that they just grow two different kinds of cacti on top of each other, which is so strange, but okay. These weird looking succulents, I have no idea what they are, but they looked very magical, foresty. Oh, lithops too. Different kinds of lithops. Some of the bigger agaves and cacti. And I love the color of the wool in the back, by the way. This is a huge section, as you can see. Here's more of the epiphyllum anguliger babies. Very, very cute. The little zigzag patterns are adorable, especially when new leaves come out. Some um, Calathea mosaica, or I don't know, they were reclassified, but they're still mosaica. So I love the patterns on those leaves. Some different Calatheas and palms, no ferns, sorry. There's big ponytail palms in the back there and yuccas. Here are some beautiful caladiums. I love that white one. They are selling it as caladium green. Okay. I don't know what kind it is, but it's very, very pretty. And then this one has a little bit of that green shimmer, which mine also got when they didn't get enough light. 
Then on to a different section where they have more orchids and ferns, like this beautiful Esplenium fern. Really, really big. I love how the new leaves grow and come out of that just dead looking brown thing. And then you get these beautiful curly spirals unfolding. Some maidenhair ferns as well that look super healthy. Mine died back and I threw away the pot. It was before I realized that they will actually grow back if you let the pot sit. Whoops. This one's also very pretty. I don't know exactly what fern it is, but it looks very cool with all the fingers. And then some different orchids. This is some kind of Cambria orchid. Beautiful colors, beautiful flowers right next to the maidenhair ferns. Kind of love that combination. And it's actually labeled as a Nelly Eiler, which I don't think it is because they are a little bit harder to find but I'm no orchid expert anymore. Also love the colors on this one. And then that's the little Cronion zebra fern. Coniogram amiensis. I had to look that up. And then over here, there is the carnivorous plant section with a lot of cool plants this time. Like this little Ultricularia bisquamata, which basically looks like flowers only. We couldn't find anywhere where it would be able to catch flies or bugs. It just looks like moss with little flowers, but apparently it's a carnivorous plant. And then this one with lots of long stems and flowers. Very cute. This is an Ultricularia longifolia. And I don't know that. I'm not an expert. I'm just reading the labels for you. But look at how cute these flowers are. They're kind of like orchids almost. And then some chunky little pictures. These are so cute with the little patterns on the lip of those plants. And these are Saracenias. I'm showing it to Micha because I think it is adorable. One of the cutest pictures ever. And then these longer ones that have such nice veining on the lips or even little patterns with like the polka dots on these ones. Very, very cute. There's so many different kinds. It's kind of magical, even with just pitcher plants. There's some little, little pictures in the back there. And then let's head over to more of the baby plants. These are adorable little Peperomia caparata. And you may have already seen this on my Instagram because I bought this little baby. It's so nice and orangey that people actually asked me if I used a filter on a photo that I posted because they didn't believe it was that pink orange, but it is. Then some coleus, different colors and a little begonia. And over here, some peperomia hope. Very cute. I still really like that plant. Some syngoniums, different colors and some adorable heart leaf ferns. I think they're called very cute, but not the easiest to keep alive. Here's a big burgundy rubber tree plant, whatever, ficus elastica. And more babies, little saxifrage stoloniferas. Babies, babies, such so many babies everywhere. Look at this one. Micha found a monstera with the most chunky and long aerial roots. Pretty crazy. Some ficus larata, fill leaves, and some very big pitchers. Micha told us that you have to fill up the pitchers with water a little bit because outside they would be filled with rain. Otherwise the pitchers just die basically. And I would love to hear what you guys think of this. Do you agree with him or is that a weird myth? I don't know, but these pitchers look very, very cool and they do have water in them. And then little Peperomia prostrata, the string of turtles. Super adorable, but mine were super pest infested, so I don't want them. More cute syngoniums and the little asparagus ferny type plants. Some reddish phytonias and wandering Jews. And tiny, whoa, look at that. These are the cutest little pictures ever. I take it back about the other ones. These are the tiniest ones. So, so cute. Since I still had some energy and we were excited, we also went to Global Garden. And so let's look what they have there. First of all, this incredible fern tree. I've never seen them this mature before, so that was really, really cool. And then look at this flower. That's a flower of one of the carnivorous plants. I've never seen a flower like that before. It's pretty cool. And more pictures in different colors. I really like the burgundy. Very cool. And then there's an overview of this part of Global Garden. Look how pretty huge ferns over here. They have a big, big fern section with the coniograms. And I don't know what this one is. We really liked it with the split leaves, the little fingers. It looks kind of gothy, creepy. 
In this little house, they keep their specialty plants, so let's have a look. First of all, I see some colocasias. Beautiful. I like these a lot. Especially the tiny little leaves. They look very velvety. Super cute. And then we've got some Zabrinas with the black stems. These are new, in Holland at least. So they're very cool. They are pretty expensive though. They are 60 euros almost. They are pretty big and they, I guess, come out looking like a regular Zabrina with the stems and then they slowly turn black. They also had these Spatophyllum variegatas. I don't know what kind they are, but the same as Intratown. Some Princes of Orange over here. Really big ones, actually. And some kind of, I think, an Aglionema. And then this one, we think this actually is a Friedrich Stali Monstera because the leaves, they look like Adansoniae, but they are so much bigger. And it kind of also grows differently than the Adansoniae in the back there. So here's Micha's hand to show size. They have some very big philodendron lemon limes that used to be super expensive and rare, but now they have become much more available. And a Gleonema. This looks like that philodendron camouflage or golden dragon. Some micans, very nice and velvety. Some birkin with lesser white than some of them that, well, mine has gone almost completely white, but okay. Ascindapsis moonlight, beautiful plants. Mine died sadly, but that's okay. This actually looks like a variegated strelitzia or something. I don't know exactly what it is. Let's look a little bit closer. What is that? Alpinia variegata. Never heard of it before, but it looks very cool. Here are some Alocasia cuprias that you know I love always. And a really, really big camouflage or dragon, whatever it is. Some other Alocasias. And these weird succulenty types, Sansevierias. They look so weird with a pink, but kind of nice. And then some kind of lined Tradescantia, more camouflage. And in the back there, lots of dragon scales. You know I love those. And a beautiful Caladium. That's a type that I haven't seen before, so that's cool. I don't know what those are, actually. What is that? A Peperonym Amplissimum. 10 euros. Looks kind of nice. Some kind of neon Homolomina. 34.50. And lots of these Ruscifolia Deschidia that I already own and love. Here are the other side of the black Zabrinas. The stems do look really, really cool, I have to admit. And then this huge varicosum that was opening a leaf right there. Super cute and chunky. And actually opening another leaf on that side. That's cool. Here's another Prince of Orange and some different Caladiums. Beautiful. I really, really like this one. It's almost see-through. And then the red one. Very beautiful. Mine are not doing great, so <laughs> it's nice to see these being alive. Here is their huge Monstera Pinnipavit Partita <laughs> and these Acuminata Monsteras and some more different kinds. I don't know what these are. There's so many different kinds here with the little holes and stuff. It's no longer just Adansonii. There's Mica again and more Epipronyms and Philodendron. Beautiful. It's like a little forest jungle of cool plants. Here are some philodendron Brazil, really chunky ones, and some more lemon limes. Look at that. So cool. Really mature looking ones. Some monsteras peperu and philodendron, and subhastatum and hastatum. I can almost not keep up with telling you what they are. There's so many. Look at the red backs on that one. Many beautiful plants. I love it. And then over here, we've got some Alocasia Bambinos and Black Velvets. Look at those beautiful leaves. How cool is that? There is Micha and his shoes showing a huge Monstera Acuminata. Look how long that is. And this is a very tall boy, so very cool. Some string of spades. They look quite nice. And more Zebrinas over there. Some Raphrodophora Tetraspermas over here. And variegated string of hearts. These look like they have a nice amount of white on them actually. That's quite cool. And here are more of those acuminatas that I was talking about. More dragon scales. They are always so pretty. They blow my mind. 
and some Alocasia cuprias and more of those Stratoscantia. And here are some uh, Epipernum pinnatums with fenestrated leaves. If you've seen my post, they have finally started to refenestrate in my home, so that's really awesome. Some bigger leafed Raphidophora tetraspermas. Are you still with me? We're heading over to the Hoya section. Here is a flowering Hoya Bella. Super cute. I haven't seen those in a shop before, so here I am smelling it because I wanted to see if it does smell. I didn't smell anything, but it might come out at night. <laughs> here is some um, Carnosa Crimson Princess. Beautifully pink. A lot of pink in that plant. And lots of Linearis. As you can see, these are always very full in our country. These are kind of my favorite, the Deschidia Numularia for 12 euros. I love how these grow and they are so easy. They're doing really well in my care. Hoya Virtusa. These are weird looking plants. I just got a cutting of this from Sandra for my birthday. Super awesome. And some more variegated string of hearts. I was trying to find the price for you. Oh, there we go. Nine euros. What am I doing? Oh, I'm putting it back. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. It's actually flowering. Whoa. I forgot about that. <laughs> That's cool. Here are some variegated Carii and Hoya Australis Lisa on trellises. And on the left there, Carnosa Crimson Queens and Hoya Compacta. Hoya Carnosa Compacta or Hindu Rope. These were actually super long. Can you tell? I tried to lift one pot, pot up for you. These were 28 euros but they're super super long like one meter or something three feet some kind of publicalix and regular hoya carii and some more queens and some crinkle eights i think i'm not 100 percent sure these look a little bit bigger than the crinkle eight on the right there so i thought it might be something else but i'm not sure here is this big succulent that we always see but it's actually putting out different points of flowering. Look at that. And this one is about to open. I actually saw on their Instagram that the day after we were there, it opened. Super awesome. I love it when plants are actually happy in the garden center. Over to some more succulenty plants because I noticed you guys actually like them. So I'm filming them more for you. This is a little variegated one. And then I really like this one. Actually, it looks kind of pink. And I love these agaves. They have some kind of ombre effect on the green that I absolutely adore. This one looked very strange. It's like a codex with a little fan of ombre leaves. It's actually called a South African pride plant or Bofa pisticha, if I say that right. I don't know if that means anything to you. It doesn't to me. More of the huge cacti, the white ones and the big chunky ribsalis. And then my friends found these Stefania erecta bulbs that I had never seen IRL before. And I never really got why people were freaking out over them. But when I saw these, I was instantly in love, especially that one that I'm grabbing right now. You may have seen it already on my Instagram that went home with me. It's beautiful. The leaves are kind of succulenty, but the veins are see-through. Yes, thank you, Micha, for helping me focus on the leaves because my camera was more focused on the cacti. These were 12 euros. Can you believe it? And they're actually sold out within a few days, so don't go there now to expect those. But yeah, so, so cute. And they were actually flowering. And mine is actually surviving in my house. I am so relieved and also a little bit proud. Continuing on with some more weird looking succulents. <laughs> I don't know what those are, but they're very weird looking. And some variegated whatever they are. And cacti. And succulents. And more cacti. And more ripsalis. This is the big one from the other side. Here I am walking around in the huge plant section. Beautiful sterlitzias and palms and philodendron everywhere. And behind me, there's Maika with her cart. Those carts are mandatory for everyone just to keep some distance between people. That's what our government has decided. Here are some Aglionema, different kinds. You know, I don't know any of these. I'm sorry, but I'm sure some of you will be very helpful in the comment section. Some nicely sun-stressed Deschidia ovata, although I'm moving a bit fast. Sorry about that. There we go. That's better. And this beautiful anthurium, we actually found several huge anthuriums here and the new leaves have a beautiful color. These were quite affordable, I'll show you in a moment. And then we found this beautiful variegated anthurium that actually had pollen 
And so we're going to do something quite naughty. I'm going to give this to Micha, who then is going to try and pollinate that big one, that Plowmanii, with this variegated one. We did not ask if this was okay, which may have been a mistake on my part. Sorry, Yolanda and Edwin. If you're getting little seed babies, I would be very happy to get a little, <laughs> a little seed to try and grow some plants. Look how beautiful that is, though. The, it has a lot of variegation. Ooh, popping it back in. Here is it from up close. Especially that new leaf is very, very beautiful. And then this is the one I was talking about before. This is 12 euros, so it's pretty affordable. And it's not labeled as anything except anthurium. Look at that new leaf being super dark red. I love it. And they were kind of, not velvet, but kind of like matte suede-like looking. Just really beautiful. I wanted to take one, but you know, space is always an issue. And then we also found this big triangularis bush that I was honestly not that impressed about. I know you guys on Instagram love it a lot and it, I mean, it's nice. It's 25 euros for a big bush, so it's not very expensive, but I don't see the huge Instagram hype that is going on about this plant. Sorry. Always love the extra fenestrations. This actually has three lines of fenestrations, so those are really, really nice monsteras. And then my phone died and I couldn't film everything, but I was pretty much done with all the awesome plants. I really, really hope you enjoyed this double tour of my two top favorite garden centers. I've never done that before in one video, so I hope you like it. If you do, please let me know in the comments below. Give a thumbs up, that really helps as well. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.